I haven't done these in a while. I apologize for that. It seems all the best thoughts that I have are things that I want to keep to myself, right? Um, but of all the things I want to say in this video, I think the most useful thing is to provide what um, my, my therapist said as uh, three words. And those words are connection, comfort, support. We live in a world where everybody has an answer. Everybody can solve your problems with just 140 characters on, on Twitter. Everybody can leave a comment on your YouTube video. Everybody can leave a comment on your Facebook post. Everybody knows how to solve your problem. Little do they know that providing those solutions isn't what any of us want. It's not what I want. It's not what you want. It's not what you want to hear. And then they ask you, tell me what you want me to say to you. I've heard this many times in my life. When you're the person who gives all of the advice, when you're the person who's giving all of that connection and support, who is the person, who are the people that can give that support to you? It's led, according to my therapist, it's led many great psychologists to their doom. Many great writers, because they just knew too much. They understood too much. And the excessiveness of understanding and knowledge led them to not have anybody to empathize with them. When you're in a situation when everybody looks to you as, as we call it, a sensei or a teacher or somebody you look up to, who do you look up to? Who do you find that can empathize with you? So you kind of take it back a couple of steps and you're like, I don't want advice. I don't need to know how to become a better designer. I don't need a 10 step process. I know that. I don't, I don't need to learn. I don't need advice on how to become a better streamer. I don't need a 10 step process. I know that. What I need from you is a friend. And a friend, in a sense, that doesn't provide an answer. Don't give me an answer. Give me your friendship. Give me your love. Give me your time. And when we're in a situation, when we're in a place where time is so... It's so sparse and availability is by appointment and it feels like personal connection is not possible. You gotta work extra hard. And I'm telling this to myself. Remember these videos. I'm talking to you, Brian. Providing those people, going the extra step, one step farther, and saying, hey, I'm here for you. I'm here. I have a lot. It's like, you can lean your head on my shoulder. Give me a good cry. And I'll be here. I might not necessarily make you feel better. But is that really the point? Is it really my point as a friend to make you feel better? Or is it a point, is it my duty as a friend to make you understand why you're feeling that way. There are a lot of things I have to learn about being a good friend, and I think there are a lot of things that we all have to learn, especially in this age, this age of terseness, this age of brevity and of instant answers. To take the time 
to be able to understand, to empathize. We all need that, especially in our line of work. And a lot of us have that. And to those people, I, you are blessed. I envy you. Because I wish I could reach out to people like that as well. But that's left for another video, or probably things I've already explained in my videos. I've done a lot of them at this point over the course of a year, so my memory isn't so good. What I hope for us, what I hope for us, you, me, all of us, is to be better friends. To be better listeners, to be better empathizers, to be better supporters. Because the world we live in today needs that. The world we live in today doesn't need a 10-step process on how to become a better person, a better streamer, a better professional, a better person. It just needs you to listen. I need to listen more. I'm sure a lot of us do, but I'm willing. I hope you are too. Hopefully that made some kind of sense. But I wanted to leave it positive because I, I am confident that I do have those people and that you have those people as well. And if it's not, if you don't have anybody, Maybe it can be me. You never know what kindred spirits you can find in this world if you only ask. So I wish you the best of luck in finding that comfort, that support, that empathy. Because empathy does nothing but give you a better life. And if I've learned anything over the past year, it's definitely that.